Okay, today I want to tie for you an Adams parachute. The hook I'm using is an R50 standard dry fly hook. It is a size 14. I'm going to use black 8-aught thread. And I'm going to start attaching the thread at the front. And I'm bringing it back about two eye lengths. Trim the thread. Going to use some snowshoe for the uh, wing post. There we go. I want the wing to be about the length of the hook shank. And we want it to stay on the top too. I'm going to trim the back. And I'm going to give it a taper trim. It wants to spin, so I'm going to hold it in place. I'm going to pick up the wing and I'm going to wrap in front of it. And now I'm going to wrap around the wing. And take my thread to the back. Take my thread to the tail position. And now the tail, I have grizzly and brown hackle. And I'm going to put them together. And I have them together, a grizzly and a brown. Now I'm going to stand them at 90 degrees. And this way I can get a good selection of a combination of grizzly and brown and rip them off to at one time. And I have my grizzly and brown hackle. I'm going to size them up. I want them to be just about three quarters of the length of the body. And I'm going to secure them right there. There we go. And trim off the excess. Secured them in place there. Now I'm going to take uh, my Adams Gray dubbing. Dub the thread. Gonna put one wrap in back underneath the tail need some more dubbing
to wrap around the wing there once more. I have my grizzly and brown hackle. I gave them the crew cut. I'm going to tie them in together. And I'm going to tie them into the shank first. Keep my wing out of the way. Going up the wing post with the hackle. And then come back down. I have the hackles in place. And now I need to dub just a little bit more. dubbing in front of the, front of the wing post and I'm going to make the head just one more small pinch of dubbing so I can hide the thread I'm going to bring the thread back to the wing post there just let it hang over and now I'm going to take my hackle pliers and I'm going to wrap the hackle going down the wing post once twice three times looks like enough I'm going to take the my thread secure it to the wing post a couple good tight turns remove my hackle pliers and I'm going to go underneath the wing the hackles just to make sure that everything's secured Sometimes you could lift the hackle to help you get get it underneath the hackles. There we go. Now I'm going to cut off my hackles with my razor blade. And whip finish. three secured okay here we have an Adams parachute we have a R50 Mustad standard dry fly hook it is a size 14 the tail is a combination of brown and grizzly hackle barbels and the body is Adams gray dubbing our wing is dirty snowshoe rabbit and our hackle is brown and grizzly hackle I hope that you learned something from this video I hope that you would subscribe to my channel please leave comments questions suggestions and most of all, I thank you for watching my video.